Hello, my name is Eric, a member of the support team here at Prototech. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the enhancements found to Dynamic Mill in Mastercam 2025. Let's add a dynamic path. First, I'm going to select my machining region. I'm going to use the edge option with C plane. Notice new in 2025, my regions are now color coded. My machining region is showing green on my screen. I'm going to add an air region using the outer open edge face option that is displayed as blue. I'll select a tool. I'm going to cut primers from my previous awful work. On the linking page, I now also get my visual plane display as first seen in MeshCam 2024 in the drilling toolpath. I can click on the plane and edit it on the screen, or I can edit my values normally in the parameters. Also new in MeshCam 2025 is I get finish options for my dynamic milling. I'm going to say one finish pass, taking off the last 12 thou. I'm going to slow my feet a little bit and I can choose my compensation type. If I'm going to use wire comp, I better make sure to also turn on my lead and lead out. Let's take a look. Notice that my roughing passes need to roll in and out and they can't fit between those grooves. My finish pass does fit there. If I don't already have that material roughed out, I probably don't want to finish that yet. If I go back and edit my parameters on the finish pass page, I can choose to minimize burial, then it'll only finish the areas that were roughed. My finish pass no longer goes between the bosses. If I want to finish that out quick, I can copy this after, switch to a smaller tool, maybe on my finish passes on the lead and lead out, I want to add a little bit of overlap, I can extend the cuts and I'd want to turn on my rest material. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.